This is an Amtec LAM single stage vacuum blower motor. It's a bypass type, bypass in the sense that the air is taken into the turbine compressor section or blower section, it's a turbine type blower, and comes out here and that air is separate from the air that's drawn in by the fan and goes through this plastic shroud to cool the motor. Unlike a shop vac, where the same air that's being used to pick up dirt and debris passes through the motor. This thing is a real screamer if it's running full speed, just like any vacuum cleaner. The noise is generated by two sections. You got noise that's generated by this blower section, the air rushing in here and then coming out here, especially if this is opened. With this connected with a hose to the calliope, that will deaden some of that. And then the motor is a separate source of noise. I want to treat this as two separate sources of noise. I've got the motor section and I've got the compressor section. Considering that the original calliope was powered by two hairdryer blowers, I think this will be more than adequate and I don't expect this to be running more than a third power and the noise at those speeds is, is greatly reduced. That's something I'm guessing at because I have not built a Calliope before and I don't have a real good idea how much air is required. This is a box for the vacuum cleaner blower motor. The bottom or the intake of the turbine type compressor is in here and there'll be a cover plate on this and it can only suck air through the two ends. So we're generating sound over here, we're sucking air in on this side. So the air has to go through these baffles before it can get to the turbine and any sound has to fight its way back through here to get out towards where the air intake for the blower box is. All of this is butt glued and then all the edges are sealed with tight bond glue. And there'll be a cover plate on here, which is what I'm gluing in place on the other side right now. And a few clamps. Come back in a couple hours when the glue's dry. The blower has an adapter that I made on the lathe. Just fits on here. This drops down in to the blower box. And these two screws engage with that adapter plate. And then there's three screws that hold the motor in. This is the bottom of the motor box. So the air coming into this blower box will have to go through these baffles and it comes into these holes. And there's a cover plate that sits on here. And the air goes into these slots that are created by this plate. This bottom section in here will be full of sound deadening material. This is the lid for the motor box and this piece has been made to fit very snugly on this plastic housing for the cooling fan. The air passes through the fan and comes out down here along the sides of the motor and it will exhaust out one side. That goes on there like that. This is the outer part of the blower box. The other section with the motor will sit in here and it will be glued to these support pieces. This has been lowered into this outside box and will eventually be attached to these strips in here. Air will come in through a grate that's on the lid of the box and that air will either go into the cooling fan or will find its way into these two openings that go to the baffles and there will be a bottom on the box so this is a sealed chamber down here. Air will go into the cooling motor and the cooling motor exhaust will come out here. Then a pipe goes in here and this leads to the calliope. This is the baffle for the motor cooling fan. Air comes in here, goes through the baffle, and goes to the fan. And the cover plate will be glued on here. The air for the motor cooling fan goes into this corner, goes back and forth three times, goes into the, the fan for the motor, 
Then after the air passes over the motor, it goes into this set of baffles, comes through a hole inside here, travels over to here, and then comes out this hole. And this is just plugged into the discharge for the blower, and I just have it wedged in there with some paper tiles. So when I turn this on, this will be at about one-third speed. There is no sound deadening material in here. This is just sitting on this piece of plywood and this is just sitting in here. It's about one-third speed. And if I partially cover the top, This is putting out about six inches of water pressure when I shut this off. That's about half speed. And that's about 16 inches of water pressure. That's full speed. So that's quieted that down quite a bit. I was hoping for more. The size of this was determined by materials that I had on hand. I had a, a piece of 1x12 and a piece of 1x7. The inside box had to be big enough. I wanted to center that uh, blower and I had to be able to connect to that adapter that comes to this pipe. Everything else was made out of some leftover materials quarter inch yellow pine, which is really not very good plywood. And this is 332nd material. I'm not really sure what this is for, but the pink color is what they call primed. This is uh, putting out six inches of water pressure at one third speed, about 16 inches at half speed. And I don't have any way of measuring this at full speed, but it is putting out a lot of pressure. I'm not sure how this will hold up long term operating at reduced speed. A vacuum cleaner blower is really intended to be on or off and operating at full speed. I'm going to try putting a moving blanket on this and see how much it cuts down on the sound. This is pretty heavy. I haven't weighed it, but I wanted to get this built and tested to see how it would work or how it wouldn't work. I'm getting ready to have another shoulder surgery in a week. I will not be able to move any of this stuff around for quite a while. When I can, I'll finish the calliope and get this thing hooked up and see what kind of noise it makes.